Distance learning is a way for students to explore uh, their learning by engaging in projects. And so what they do is there's a driving question. Uh, projects are real world, they're authentic, they're meaningful situations. And students are really put in a situation where they have to solve problems and they have to work together to solve problems. Defining thing about project-based learning is students have a reason for what they're learning and they, they understand that they're trying to answer a question and really make meaning of that and, and do that in a way that they learn as a product of that. I would just encourage everyone to use project-based learning because it is a guaranteed way to get everybody involved and everybody learning and feeling like they're a successful person in our community. Novato's chosen project-based learning as a way to move forward because we are interested in having our students learn skills as well as content. And so project-based learning is a way for teachers to teach a unit or a, a one or two week uh, lesson and, and really integrate the skills that we want in there, the content in there, maybe an equity focus in there. So it's a structure of planning out a unit where you can do a lot of different things in that one structure. And so teachers are overwhelmed with a lot of things they have to do, but by using projects, it's a way to do a lot of different things in that one structure. The main benefits of PBL for students is that they get to use a lot of the skills that we want them to have, such as collaboration. They have to work together in teams. They have to give feedback. They have to give and take. They have to be able to communicate well. They have to present ideas to each other. They have to listen closely to each other. They have to think critically about problems and how to solve those problems. So those are the main benefits are, instead of the teacher spoon feeding them information, and instead of a teacher telling them how things are, students are basically freed to explore the learning on their own and with others, question each other, uh, help each other, support each other, critique each other, give each other feedback. And so they learn a lot more by that kind of a process than, than sitting in a classroom as a passive learner. I feel like project-based learning is, the, is a wonderful opportunity for students to take their learning to the highest level possible, which is synthesizing the information and being able to teach others. One thing I really appreciate with project-based learning is all the other skills that students are learning besides just the content area skills, um, they're pr practicing collaboration and critical thinking. We came up with the graduate profile after talking to a lot of uh, parents and teachers and administrators and, and people in our workforce, chamber of commerce, businesses, and said, what are those key skills that you think our students need to have when they leave our schools? And so then they talked a lot about, hey, kids need to be able to collaborate with each other. They need to be able to work together as a team. They need to be able to think critically and deeply about problems and how to solve those problems. They need to communicate well. They need to be good writers. They need to be able to speak in public. Um, those kinds of things. They need to have character. They need to have, be a conscientious learner. They need to be able to set goals. They need to be able to know personal finance. They need to know what their career objectives are. And finally, they need to be a culturally proficient. They need to be able to take different perspectives, understand that there are multiple perspectives on problems. And so those are the six C's that we're working for in the graduate profile. And that's where project-based learning totally supports that kind of learning. I use project-based learning in my classroom because it gives students the opportunity to actually perform hands-on science as opposed to having a script given to them and a, a recipe that they need to follow. This allows them to actually design and implement labs to refine them, to make them better, and to come up with a procedure and to come up with a conclusion that's more meaningful because it's something that they themselves generated. I think that project-based learning has a positive impact for a lot of students, and in particular students who may or may not necessarily test well. It's another way of evaluating student work. One of the nice things about project-based learning is that because the Buck Institute for Education is right here in Novato, a lot of our teachers, and because project-based learning has been around for a while, a lot of our teachers and administrators have already had quite a bit of training in it. So. Um, it's, we're not starting from scratch with everybody, but because it's a big district focus, uh, we'll make sure that every teacher goes through and experiences a project at our first day back this year. Administrators just went through an experience where they experience what it's like to be in a project. Uh, the Buck Institute is putting on a three-day training session this summer at San Marin High School. So those are kind of the initial trainings, and then we will supplement that with our instructional coaches who have been trained on, on project-based learning and really continue this focus, not just for this year, but probably for the next three or four years. I think the best thing about PBL is that it carries over into the students' personal lives. So 
The best example I can give is we were just over at Angel Island yesterday uh, talking about uh, you know the, the detention centers for the Chinese that were there and we were ended up talking about what's going on today with uh, uh, immigration policies and and how do we help kids you know who, who aren't citizens become citizens and we ended up talking about that at my you know the dinner table with my wife and my daughter and I think that that's the power of really meaningful education is it just doesn't stop when you leave the classroom you're thinking about it you're wondering about it you're asking questions and you have conversations with people that you normally wouldn't have and so it just takes education I think a lot deeper and a lot further than when you're just doing a worksheet in a classroom that you don't see has any meaning. I think PBL is definitely real life learning. This is something, a skill that they can take and it's authentic and it's real and they've made it. They've created it from point A to point B. The only thing that I was responsible for and came up with was the driving question. Everything that's going to be coming out of this project is theirs and that's one thing I really truly think is phenomenal with PBL. I'm very excited that they are enthusiastic about that project and that they're trying to do their absolute best work. I think the end result of students who've had project-based learning for a number of years in our schools is that they are going to really understand the learning process. They, they won't be passive learners, they will be more stronger advocates for themselves. I think they'll know more about how to set goals, how to solve problems, how to go find resources to solve those problems. I think they'll be way better communicators and, and team players. They'll be able to know how to work with other people and teams that maybe they don't now. You're given a sort of small prompt but asked to do something really big with it, so you're definitely, as much as you're hoping for a specific type of product, there's a lot of free room. So it's, it's just, it's about you kind of learning yourself, doing your own thing. So I really see them being empowered to take charge of their own learning in a way that right now, I think our educational system kind of does education to them instead of being partners with our students to take charge of their learning. And if you do let them take charge of their learning, then I think they're gonna go deeper and farther than we ever imagined.